We are off to the movies now and a new film about Billie Holiday has just missed out on an Oscar. Lead actress Andra Day was nominated for her portrayal of the legendary jazz musician in the United States versus Billie Holiday. It's her first major film role. And Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis joins us now from jail. Morning to you, Jabs. <laughs> it's terrific that we've been able to keep up your work while you, you are incarcerated. Um, talk to us about, uh, about Andrew's Golden Globe winning performance here. Extraordinary. What, what did you think of the film? Good morning, Mon. Good, every, good morning, everybody. Simpatico <laughs> with Billie Holiday here, uh, imprisoned by the US federal government. Basically, the film centres around uh, Billie's song, Strange Fruit, and the feds um, attempts to stop her singing the song because it was perceived as a rallying cry for the burgeoning civil rights movement. Frankly, I think Andrew Day was robbed um, for best performance when you look at Renee Zellweger taking home a whole stack of awards last awards season for Judy. Um, this film's directed by Lee Daniels, the man behind Precious, and the butler. It basically wants to show us how the US government made Billie Holiday public enemy number one. Um, and the film also looks at her struggles with addiction, fame and love and how she was imprisoned for drug possession to stop her singing Strange Fruit. It uh, overcomes a really clunky start to become a really powerful film. Let's take a look at the United States versus Billie Holiday. I think we should integrate the audience for this show. Let's change it up a little bit. You know, blacks and whites sitting together. You know what you're getting yourself into when you decide to come on the road. Get out my goddamn clothes. I'm gonna take everything except your bra and your man. <laughs> Which one of my songs is your favorite song? Strange Fruit. Yeah, it's a song about important things, you know, things that are going on in the country. Andrew Day is sensational. A stunning performance from her, three and a half stars. She even takes her stage name from Billy's nickname, Lady Day. She didn't want to do the film. Uh, a similar case to Robin Wright, who's made her feature film directorial debut this week with a film called Land. Uh, but basically, due to financing issues, she had to step in as the lead actress. It's about uh, her character, Edie, who moves into an isolated cabin in the wilderness, seeking solitude to heal from an event we don't really know about. But when winter comes, she's overcome come by the extreme elements, almost dying from exposure, but is discovered by two local siblings. You know, we've been polite enough not to ask you all the questions one might want to ask if they found someone like you. No phone. One might begin to wonder how she came to be in this place. Might wonder if she's hiding from someone. I understand your curiosity. I'm not running from anyone. I'm not hiding. I'm not a criminal. I'm here because I choose to be. A good reminder how the deepest anguish can heal with the help of nature, nurture, and human kindness. Uh, incredible effort from Robin Wright. Brilliance out of the blue. Four stars for her. Look forward to more directing from her. And a couple of good films for Mother's Day. Next Sunday, if you want to take your mum to the movies, there's a new Angelina Jolie film on the way. Noni Hazelhurst we'll talk to you next week. So plenty to get out and about and see on the big screen this week. Oh, good on you, Jabs. Let's hope that the movies in jail there are keeping you busy. Thank Enjoy you. your freedom, guys. Enjoy yeah. your freedom. <laughs> It really suits him. It does. <laughs> Thank you, Jabs. Talk to you soon. Well, you can catch Jabba's brand new show. It's called Jabba's Movies and it's on 7 Plus, 7 Fix and 7 Two. It's good stuff.